Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the advantage of using GitHub for Selenium automation? Let me answer. So let me explain or answer this question in a detailed fashion. For example, you have a team, okay? Your project has a team. All these team members are automating the application, different application functionalities. Let's say this is one person or team member, another team member, another team member, another team member, another team member. Okay, let's say there are five people in your project who are working on the Selenium automation. They are automating the application functionality. Let's say this person is automating the login functionality. This one log out. Assume this one is search. This one is product display page. This one is add to cart, something like that. Different functionalities they are automating, let's assume. Okay. But they belong to the same project. So if they they have their own laptop, right? Whatever the code that is automated by this number one person, if they if that person keeps the code in the same machine, in the personal laptop, okay. And if if this person also keeps the automated code in the same laptop, in his laptop, in his or her laptop, like this, okay? So what's the problem in this uh, process? Is there any teamwork? No. Okay, all these people are working on the same project and they're automating different functionalities, but whatever the code they automated, they are putting in there or keeping in their personal machines. They are not sharing with other people. Then will the pro project progress? Will the automation project progress? No. All this code, okay, separately created by all this, uh, team members of a same project need to be collaborated at a single place. It should be collaborated and put at a single place. So for that, they may take another machine, for example. Okay, for example, instead of putting in their uh, uh, personal machines, they decided to put in a centralized uh, machine. Okay, they put one server and uh, they're putting their code here. What is the problem here? There's a, one more problem here. By centralizing this code and uh, collaborating together, here, there is a lot of problem, a lot of conflicts will come, okay? So, let's say this person has uploaded the code into the server and immediately this person, after this person, this person. So, the earlier code got replaced by this person's code. Now, this person has uploaded the code. This two people code has been replaced by this person code. You see, there is no maintenance or, you know, tracking or whatever it is, okay? So, this server machine is not up to the mark. Okay, it's, a, it's simply a separate machine, okay, where people are centralizing and collaborating their code, but it is not intelligent enough. Otherwise, I can say this centralized machine is not intelligent enough, intelligent enough. And there may be some situation where this system may go down. This system may go down, right? These are the problems with this machine. Even though they don't want to, these individual team members don't want to, keep their automated code in their own machines. They decided to put in a separate machine and this is a common machine for all these people, all these team members. But the problem is this machine is not intelligent in maintaining their code, in organizing or keeping their, collaborating their code together intact. Okay, it's not intelligent enough. And also it may go down. And also multiple times they are uploading the code. So it's not maintaining any versions, no version. Okay, no versions are maintained. Tomorrow, if I feel, let's say this person has written some wrong code and uploaded here, there's no way to go back to the previous instance where the code was writing fine earlier, okay? So how to revert back? So no version is there, no reverting back is there. These are all the disadvantages. No reverting back. What if we use something known as GitHub, okay? If we use GitHub, there is no need of maintaining a physical machine this code can be uploaded onto the cloud like Google Drive. You everyone knows Google Drive, right? Like you upload your files into Google Drive, a Google Drive kind of cloud repository on the internet. So on the same internet, you can maintain this kind of centralized repository where everyone can upload their code and GitHub is intelligent. It won't go down. It can maintain the versions and we can revert back to the previous code and many other advantages, okay? This is what is GitHub. So for the team members to collaborate and put their code here with a proper intelligent system, instead of normal physical machine in your uh, network or something, we have to go with GitHub 
GitHub is available on like, like Gmail, like kind of thing. You can log into the GitHub and create an account. I'll show you one GitHub account of mine. GitHub, I'll simply say github.com. I'll go there. Already I have created an account with this GitHub. So it is already logged in. And uh, here are my repositories. I created a lot of repositories. Uh, I'll just go to the repositories here. So these are the different repositories I created. Okay, these are the different repositories I created. So I'll, I'll take you to one uh, real time uh, repository, GitHub Selenium, Selenium, Selenium repository, okay? So Selenium developers are working in, uh, in developing this Selenium tool and uh, whatever the code they're writing, right? There is no single developer for developing the Selenium tool. There are many developers and whatever they are writing, they are uploading into this GitHub centralized repo at this URL. This is a repository actually, Selenium repository. You see how many people are working? User uh, contributors are 685 people are writing the code or developing the Selenium, okay? They are doing different activities without any conflicts. Okay, they are not putting their or keeping their uh, code in their personal machines. They are collaborating together and uploading the code onto their centralized repo known as GitHub on this cloud. And uh, you see, there's no problem here. And you see how many commits. You see every every commit, every change is uh, tracked here. Changes are tracked here. You see, for example, here uh, yesterday, okay, Diego Molina has uploaded something. Okay, has changed something. Then you see other person. Okay, has done this here. Another person they have short names, Harsha and all those. Okay, uh, Steve, Steve, then uh, like different people are you know, different people are uploading something, they are changing this uh, code which is a centralized and they are collaborating together without any problems. And all these changes are tracked here. Okay, if any changes go back, go uh, wrong, they can revert they can revert to the previous chain. For example, if this person has uh, done some mistake, they can go to the previous instance here, okay? Because everything is version controlling is there. So guys, hope you got some idea about what exactly is GitHub, okay? It's a version control. So it allows you to track the changes, you see? All the changes are being tracked, whatever the changes you see. Changes one, two, three, four, uh, along with dates and timestamps, everything is there. Who, who has done the changes and everything is being tracked. If anything goes wrong, we can revert to the previous previous version, okay? So GitHub will act as a act as a version control, which normal physical machine in your uh, um, LAN network cannot do that. It's not intelligent to maintain the versions. Then collaboration. So multiple contributors, like here, multiple team members are collaborating. Here also, multiple uh, team members are collaborating, right? For the Selenium project, they are working on the Selenium project, right? Uh, these people are working on the Selenium project. 685 people are there, okay? Six, uh, at this moment, 685 people are collaborating, okay? GitHub is acting like a collaboration tool where multiple people are working simultaneously and making it easier to manage and merge the code changes together. Together, they have to put their code, okay? They have to progress together as a project. So all, all the different people's written code need to be put together and merged together. That will be taken care by GitHub, okay? That will be made easy otherwise by GitHub. Code sharing. For example, take an example of myself. This is my GitHub page. If I go to my repositories, okay. So earlier I created a lot of frameworks. For example, this framework. So based on Python, Selenium Python framework I created, for example. This framework, if I want to share with other people, I can share it here. I can share this URL, okay. And you can go here and, you know, after uh, if I share this link, uh, all the code is available here. If you want to get this code, just click on this code button and copy this and using the git commands, you can download this code. You can even download the project as a zip file also. Okay, like this, I can share my projects with you. Anyone can share projects openly with anyone with their help GitHub. That's another advantage. Continuous integration. Your system, for example, if your automation code is there in your local machine, for example, this is my local machine that you are seeing on the screen. And if I have written a lot of automation code and uh, in my Eclipse ID, this automation code is there and if I close uh, after working for eight hours or something, I'm done with my work and I will close this Eclipse ID, close my machine. Is it possible to run the automation script when my machine is closed? Not possible, right? But GitHub is not like that. GitHub is open 24 by seven, okay? Once you upload the code onto the cloud like this, this code is there. This will not shut down. 
like I shut down my machine where my code is available. Rather, if I upload my code into the GitHub kind of repository like this, this will be available 24 by 7. So continuous integration tools like uh, Jenkins, Travis CI and Circle CI kind of tools are there in the market. Okay which will automate the invocation of the running of the automation skills at night to o'clock when your machine is turned off. Still Jenkins can invoke the automation of the scripts, invoke the execution of the starting of the scripts and it will come to this particular GitHub repo and it will run the scripts from here because it is open 24 by seven, right? But in my machine, the my machine is down. How can Jenkins come and run the scripts in my machine when my machine is down? But this one is up, so Jenkins can, Jenkins, you have created a job in Jenkins that at night two o'clock today, just go and run the automation scripts that are there here. It will do that because this is open 24 by seven. Okay. So continuous integration, it supports Gen GitHub supports continuous integration and many more advantages. These are the major ones. So hope guys, you got the different advantages of using GitHub for Selenium automation and why we use GitHub in real time. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.